There are lots of gems out there that make beautiful jewelry, but I think we can all agree the top dog is the diamond, even if you aren't a certain pop star who enjoys bathtubs full of them. But a diamond's beauty isn't the only thing that makes it the envy of glamorous celebs from Prince to Kanye. They're also pretty hard to find. <laughs> So you can imagine they'd be worth a lot less if they just fell from the sky. And if you happen to be from Saturn, you might not have to imagine it at all. Because there's a new scientific theory that claims this is what happens. That's right, folks. It's entirely possible that it rains diamonds on Saturn. And not just on Saturn. There are at least four planets in our galaxy where scientists believe diamond rain occurs. And we'll get to those. But how does this happen? First, it's important to know that diamonds are made mostly of carbon atoms, and carbon is a pretty versatile element. Carbon atoms can bond together in various ways, creating different structural shapes and patterns. These patterns are the foundation for different minerals and their crystal shapes. Graphite, monstalite, and of course, diamond are all made of carbon, but they have different structures due to the different shapes of the bonds between their carbon atoms. Carbon is also one of the main building blocks in methane gas, which includes one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. Methane is one of the most abundant gases on both Jupiter and Saturn, and is found in the atmosphere on both planets, swirling within the storm clouds. Despite containing copious amounts of gases that would be extremely harmful to us Earthlings, these storms behave similarly to the storms that we have on our planet. So of course, they have lightning. This lightning is one of the main ingredients for this otherworldly diamond rain. It causes a chemical reaction in the methane gas, leaving behind soot carbon, which is dense enough to fall from the clouds. But it doesn't have a simple one and a quarter mile journey to the surface, like our water rain does here on Earth. The carbon soot is destined for an almost 20,000 mile drop to the surface, which is about two and a half times the diameter of Earth. Along its hellish journey, the soot experiences extreme amounts of pressure. After its first thousand miles, these forces turn it into graphite. You know, the stuff you find in your pencil. After another 3,000-ish miles, the constantly amplifying pressure on these newly formed chunks of graphite cause them to transform into diamonds. And they will stay in this diamond form for the remainder of their journey towards the planet's surface. But once they reach the end of their downward trek, the high pressure and temperature is so intense, scientists theorize the diamonds begin to liquefy. One theory is that this diamond ring creates large seas of liquid carbon. You may be wondering how these super smart scientists can know that any of this is happening at all, since they can't actually travel to these planets. The short answer is, they can't know for certain. But by conducting controlled experiments where they do their best to recreate the environments on these planets while also studying the chemistry, they believe they can say with confidence that this is actually occurring. But some scientists still aren't convinced. Oh, it won't work. I don't expect it to work. Could work if the government would spend some more money. Made in America, you see. There are a few naysayers out there that say that further testing needs to be done to take more consideration for how the other present elements in these methane clouds may affect the creation of the carbon soot. If any of these other elements get into the mix, there's a strong possibility that the diamonds won't be able to form. Bummer. But until they are proven otherwise, I'll continue to believe that some of our planetary neighbors are so glamorous, diamonds just fall out of their skies. Guys, maybe Rihanna's from Saturn. Have you ever tried to catch a raindrop on your tongue, but instead were pummeled by diamonds? If so, let us know in the comments, and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we've discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.